technique of magnifying the light. Jesus proved himself to be the truest, clearest medium for the light the world has ever known. He was so perfect an agent that he became the light and was able to say, I am the light of the world. In all ages there are then persons so aware of their unity with God, so sensitized to his presence, so selfless and so strong in faith, that they were able to establish instantaneous communication with their source and to manifest it all for the world to see. They were and are the blessed. If you have this power, cherish it. You have no need of aids or devices. But there are those of us who are so accustomed to thinking of the formality and discipline of our approach to what we desire and what we recognize as good that we do not have the full realization of our birthright. We are reluctant to trust our intuition and feel that only by work and effort can we attain the end we seek. The exercise that follows is for the purpose of magnifying our inherent light until we become conscious of our oneness with that great light. Through it, we may find the way by which we can best establish the contact we seek. We may find that we lengthen one step and shorten another as we become familiar with the procedure. We may find that we all met some of the suggestions. There is no ritual by which one needs to be bound. The practice it brings result is the right procedure and each must determine that for himself. Mystics of all time have developed and utilized practices that relax the body and eliminate psychic tension. The process is twofold. Complete relaxation involves both the body and the mind. Psychic tension is a psychological term which refers to such negative and distinctive mental and emotional states as worry, anxiety, fear, jealousy, resentment, and animosity. Psychic tension is like a tourniquet, limiting the energy by which we are kept alive. Those who learn to overcome it prolong their lives on this plane many years. When the mind is relaxed, the body is at rest, and man becomes a conductor through which the light shines. The first step in magnifying the light is to relax the body. There are many postures which assist in this relaxation. One is sitting in a chair with the back straight and the arms resting lightly on the thighs with the palms of the hands turned upward. The other is lying flat on a hard bed or other surface with the arms resting loosely by the sides of the body and the feet about six inches apart. Each person must find the position in which he is the most comfortable. The second step is to think of the body as weighing a thousand pounds or more and being upheld by the surface on which it rests. You have no responsibility for the support except to surrender your body to it. Now flex the muscles of your body from your feet to your neck. Squeeze each muscle as tightly as you can, just as though you were wringing the water out of a bath towel. Let go as though you were coming unglued and your body were falling apart. Take a deep breath between flexing and exhale slowly without effort right down to your boots. Make sure that the lungs are emptied completely. Now roll your head from side to side, touching your face to the bed each time, as though it were not attached to your body. Now roll your head from side to side, touching your face to the bed each time, as though it were not attached to your body. Seven is the cardinal number, symbolizing perfection and wholeness. Say each time you flex the eyeballs, my eyes are the perfect eyes of spirit, and God sees now through them. Repeat this practice with specific attention to the throat, tongue, neck, shoulders, arms, hands, lungs, abdomen, thighs, legs, knees, and feet. Think of the Christ presence as coming more and more into focus as you relax the physical body. Feel peace and serenity flowing through every nerve, muscle, tissue, and organ until you are no longer conscious of your body, until it makes no more claims upon you. Repeat many times. The healing peace is now flowing through my body, relaxing, renewing, revitalizing, and healing it, making me perfectly whole, well, and complete. Remain quiet for a moment. The next step is to relax the mind. What we are seeking in this exercise is relaxation of the total man, body, and mind. Now hold your body in a relaxed state and think of your mind, the whole mental realm, as an untroubled pool. Surrender your human will to the divine will. Repeat Jesus' own words, Not my will, but thine be done. Keep repeating them until the human will is no longer active in you. 
Now withdraw your mind from all concerned with the outer world. Say to yourself, He will keep me in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Withdraw your attention from your problems. Refuse for the moment to have any concern or thoughts about them. Repeat words and statements such as these to yourself quietly, serenity, peace, tranquility. So long as thy power has kept me, sure it will still lead me on. Where he leads me I will follow. I'll go with him all the way. Now let go and let God. Keep saying to yourself, I and the Father are one, until you feel the peace and stillness of spirit within you. Breathe such words as these. I am enfolded by his presence. I am resting in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. The next step is to enter the silence of the soul to contact God's presence. You would shut the door of the senses and silence all vagrant thoughts and are now at the door which takes you into God's presence. Be still and know that I am God. Say these words over several times quietly and with deep feeling. Say them until you feel the stillness in every atom in your being. The purpose of this step is to help you feel the presence within you and unify yourself with God. Be still and know that I am God. Know the truth in these words. Feel it. You are approaching the presence of God who is closer than breathing, nearer than hands and feet. Now stretch your arms out to your sides and see yourself on a bed is surrounded with an aura or circle of light. Think of this light as a radiation of the great light with which you are making contact. You have three physical inlets for making this contact. The top of your head, the soles of your feet, and the tips of your finger. Think of all three as resting against the circle of light which surrounds you. Breathe the light deeply into your being. Feel it penetrating every recess of your mind and every part of your body. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Now as you inhale, visualize the light pouring through the top of your head, the soles of your feet, and the tips of your finger. Your physical breathing goes on automatically. Do not confuse it with the in-breathing of your light body. Now visualize the aura of infinite light that comes direct from God as pouring through your being and centering in the soul. The soul is not located in the body, but around the body. You can think of a point of concentration, however, as in the region of the solar plexus, the center of your abdomen just below the ribs. It is at this point that your light fuses with the divine light. The next step is to put on the armor of light. Do this by following around the aura of light in your thought. As you consciously inhale the light, turn your attention to the point just above your head and say silently, I am the light of the world. Visualize this light descending from the auric circle and entering your body through the solar plexus. Be very still during these exercises and feel the light of spirit flowing through you, permeating your entire being. See yourself immersed in a sea of effulgent light illuminating your whole body. Now turn your thoughts toward the soles of your feet and repeat the process, saying, I am the light of the world. Do the same thing with the tips of your fingers. Your mind and body are now charged with light and your whole being is filled with peace. God is there and you are ready to feel his presence. You must be careful, however, not to try to visualize his presence. Simply recall all the things you know about God and say as Jesus did. I and the Father are one. Then repeat the 23rd Psalm or any of the scriptures that give you a vivid awareness of his reality and nearness. Your consciousness will be lifted to a point at which you can actually feel a divine presence. The last step is to embody the presence within your own consciousness. You must not only hope that this will happen, you must also expect it to happen. Expectation is faith in action. Know that God will come into your conscience at this point not as a tangible form, but as a state of mind. This is the reward for your effort. The moment you sense the presence of God, that moment the desire has been fulfilled, you are now able to say your prayers and give your treatments with absolute certainty of an answer. You are aglow with divine possibilities. Your mind is open to the influx of spiritual ideas. Your world is filled with light. The light that lighteth every man is now aflame in you. 
Thank God before closing your meditation for the light which he has bestowed upon you in all mankind. To understand the thrill and wonders of the light, you must experience it. This is the very simple technique which anyone can practice. When we become the light, we can share with others. The problems in our lives and those of our loved ones are no longer our responsibility but His. Praying in the light is providing a channel through which our desire is conducted to God and through which His power comes to meet our need.